Makeup and hair, camera operators, music, wardrobe, lighting. I'm gonna take you behind the scenes and we better like each other. Hi everyone, so I'm sure a lot of you originally know me from a little tiny show called Dancing with the Stars. For those of you that are fans, you probably know that every single week on the show, you see my partner and I rehearsing to prep for our big performance. But there is actually so much more that goes into prepping for the show each week than just what you see on TV. So today I thought I'd let you guys in on some of the things that go on behind the scenes that you've never seen or heard before. As promised, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes. So basically, I'm gonna take you through a typical week at Dancing with the Stars. So when you know that you've basically made it to the next week, right? So you didn't get eliminated. The first thing that I do is I stress out. Like we're all so excited, right? We're so excited that we got saved. We're like, okay, our names got called, we embrace. And then in about 2.2 seconds, I'm like, Oh God, I'm so overwhelmed because I know that I actually have to choreograph and do so that same night. This is always for me at this point in the show every single week having to choreograph no matter how happy I am that we made it through another week. I actually dislike this part the most because there's only a short amount of time that I can actually digest the music let it like soak into my body and then I have to count out bars. I probably stay up until three, four in the morning and this is show days, okay? We've started at, my call's probably 7 a.m. and we don't wrap until 7 p.m. but we still have press so that goes on until about 8.30 p.m. and then I go and choreograph. You know, at the end of the day, you're exhausted because this is a seven day a week job. There's so many little like behind the scenes like secrets as far as how we keep our costumes on. So it looks like our costumes are being held by nothing, but actually they're being held by nude straps that match the color of our skin. Let me tell you, you guys, these costumes are made from scratch every single week. I'm not even kidding. Monday's the live show. We don't know who's being eliminated till Monday night. All right, here we are again. Welcome to Dancing with the Stars. Tuesday, we have wardrobe consult, which means that I go and talk to the head of wardrobe, Howard Sussman. Shout out to Howard, great friend of mine. He manages the wardrobe department. Then we've got Danielle and Steven. Love you both. They've been there since practically the beginning. and. We straight up design the costumes with them. You teach your partner, right? So Tuesday is always the worst days ever because you are very happy you made it, but you better just erase everything that I taught you from the week before because we gotta start from scratch. You're only as good as your last dance, people, okay? So at the end of the day, he's gotta learn all new steps, different technique most likely. You've got Latin, you've got ballroom, you've got American rhythm, you've got smooth so different from one another. And each of those four categories I just said has five dances, okay? Five dances in each. So that's 20 dances right there. Let's say we have the cha-cha-cha. It's a Latin dance. Your legs have to be straight. You've gotta know how to transfer your weight from foot to foot. So we've got a three week training period before the live show. You better teach them the technique then. You never wanna take a day for granted. Every day counts, even if you don't see progression you will see progression. And a lot of these celebs, you know, it is so vulnerable to go out here on this dance floor and do something you have never done before, even if you have dance experience. As I've said before, you can check out my video here on my channel when I talk about me and AJ's experience on the show. But sometimes if you have dance experience, it can actually hurt you more than it can help you. I suggest that for any celebrity that thinks they got the mirror ball in the bag, uh-uh, stay humble. It looks a lot easier than it is, people. <laughs> anyway, back to the process and the behind the scenes Dancing with the Stars schedule. Um, Tuesdays are horrible because, <laughs> not horrible, I mean look, I am definitely privileged and I love being able to do what I do best and do so in front of all of you, but it is so hard sometimes when you're so tired, you haven't slept. I've been up all night choreographing. My celebrity partner is still on a high because he made it through the next week, but yet so discouraged because I'm like, don't be too happy. Can't get happy till you hold that mirror ball above your head. Tyra say, 
Dancing with the Stars champion, you know what I mean? And your name. So until then, it's gonna be a long journey. And we better like each other. But at the end of the day, it is important that you just erase everything you've learned, take the direction from your teacher, because we do know best. And we obviously have your best interest at heart for all the future celebs of Dancing with the Stars. Season 30 is coming up. It's gonna be a big one. Wednesday, we start memorizing, 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 and I expect my celebrity partner to go home and do the homework, whether that be write down the choreography if your memory isn't that great. You are dreaming and sleeping and living and eating ballroom dance, okay? Especially when it comes to this specific routine that we're about to do. So Thursday hits, right? So Monday's the live show. Tuesday, I teach you your dance in sections. Wednesday, we just repetition, repetition, repeat, repeat, repeat until it's in your bones, until you can do the dance backwards. Thursday, we go through each section that I taught you from Tuesday and we do it to music. Then if the music, let's say it's a fast dance, we slow it down first and we just keep hitting it hard, you know? And then Thursday at the end of rehearsal, we have to shoot these things called wides. Wides, huh, that W word is the death of me. But our lovely director, okay, he is great, Phil Hayes. Shout out to Phil Hayes, raise the roof. He is the man, the magician behind the camera. He makes us look good, because I'm telling you, if it wasn't for those cameras and it was just like a one camera shoot, it would have been a snore. This show probably wouldn't last till season 30, but Phil is very talented, and what we have to do is basically dance with our celebrity. This is just Thursday, not Monday. Thursday, our full routine to music as best as we can. No ifs, ands, buts, or excuses. Believe me, I've tried it all. Because at the end of the day, we don't really want to get ready on Thursday. We were like, we still have until Monday. Can't think like that on this show. Gotta think ahead. Friday comes. We're just running it, running it, running it, running it. Saturday running it, running it, running it. Sometimes we've got two dances to learn. For the first half of the show, the first like, what, five weeks, six weeks, one dance. But then we've got team dances, then we've got, there's so, as you could progress through the season, you get more and more dances added to your schedule, which means double the time. Each dance, I'd say, five hours every single day per one dance, seven days a week. Sunday rolls around, it's camera blocking. So basically it's a dry block, right? Cameras are all there. You've got everyone behind the scenes, the people who make us look good. I love you guys. You guys are my family. I'm so grateful and honored to have worked with anybody that has worked behind the scenes, all the camera operators, lighting, sets, you name it, music, wardrobe, makeup and hair. You guys are amazing. Body makeup, directors. I mean, these are the people that deserve the recognition, people, because we've got the best in the business Business, and let me tell you, their job is not easy, especially dealing with us nervous wrecks over here. Anywho, Sunday rolls around. We maybe rehearse one to two hours at the studio. I prefer to rehearse before camera blocking so that my celebrity can just go in there and just perform, right? Because at the end of the day, you only get that stage time for about 20 to 30 minutes on Sunday. I'm used to the ballroom, but my celebs are not used to dancing like this and exaggerating and dancing to the balconies. It's not easy, folks. It's not easy, especially when you're insecure. All you want to do is curl up in your shell like a tortoise. Sunday, you like to end a little early because you do want to have some normalcy. There's no such thing as balance when you do Dancing with the Stars. It's just Dancing with the Stars. You live, you eat, you breathe Dancing with the Stars. And then maybe you can uh, have some time to like, for me, I love to meditate or maybe spend some time with my husband. That would be great, you know? But at the end of the day, this is like, we're living like Olympians. This is it. You got one shot, people, one shot. In my case, I've had 20. Very grateful so grateful for this experience. But at the end of the day, you wanna act like you only have one shot because your celebrity is not coming back. What you see is what you get. And he or she deserves your undivided attention and deserves you as a professional dancer to work your ass off for this person. It's once in a lifetime and it can be a life changer, a positive one, okay? This could be life changing, guys. Monday rolls around, our call time's at 6.30, 7 a.m. We go through it. We have dress rehearsal around noon, one o'clock around lunchtime, and then we go back for touch-ups. Mind you, right at dress rehearsal, that's what that means. We have full hair and makeup already by noon. 1 p.m., body makeup, everything. 
costumes, we see everyone's dances, we're cheering for everybody, and then dress rehearsal ends around three o'clock, we go live at five, last touch-ups. We are a machine. This is a very organized machine, Dancing with the Stars, and this is why we work seven days a week. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know more about what goes on behind the scenes of Dancing with the Stars. I'd love to know in the comments below if you want more dancing content here on my channel or really, you know, whatever you are liking to see on my channel in general. I'm so thankful to have each of you here with me and I hope that you've subscribed for new videos coming every single week. Until next time, sending you so much love and light. Bye.